channel my name is Amber B if you're new to my channel and today as you can tell by the title of the video I am gonna be giving you guys a little home update okay I know I've been away from the channel for a while a lot of things have been happening with life with building the house and just a lot of things happening but I am back okay I am back and I'm back for a while I just need a little YouTube break to kind of get the creative juices flowing and you guys Today, I'm so excited to be sharing with you the progress of the home. We're getting to the finish line, okay? And like really close. I'm like screaming with joy and excitement inside, all right? So I'm gonna actually talk through just kind of the, the home building process and just the different stages of how the home look. I have photos, videos. So if you're interested in this video, stay tuned. All right guys, so if you watched the last home update, you would have saw that we have already found a home and we chose the designs for our home. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I'll leave it up above in the cards and down below in the description box. But the building process and just seeing the home kind of come to fruition has been so, so fun. Like literally I've been so obsessed, like me and my fiance, we've been so obsessed going to the house almost like every other week just to kind of check on the progress and it's been so cool to kind of see it in different stages so it started off with just some basic kind of like foundational framing of the foundation rather i don't know what to call it i don't know but they started off with foundation i guess kind of setting up the foundation how you feel baby feeling good feeling great that was really cool to kind of see the whole layout of the house and then also too they were able to kind of grade some of the land so we were able to see how big our yard was because before it was just like a plot of land and so we really took a chance of like you know choosing this plot of land and originally we actually chose another plot of land but Dante was like no I think this one would be better because it would have a better yard and he is so right okay I'm so glad my fiance chose the plot of land that we're actually building our house on because our yard is literally like, it, it's amazing. I love our yard for our house. So I'm super, super excited about that. And just to kind of do some cool like landscaping things and cool things in our yard over time. So super excited. Essentially they poured the foundation and then next came the framing of the home. And when I tell you guys, I think this was honestly the most exciting part of the process so far. And just to see the framing go up and it actually looking like a home, it was just crazy. I'm like, this is our home. So essentially when the framing went up, some other things kind of went in too simultaneously. So they did a lot of like rough plumbing, rough electric, insulation, things of that nature. And I definitely recommend this if you are building a new home. Me and my fiance, we went one day with the Sharpie and we wrote different scriptures and quotes and just things on the foundation and on the framing of our home rather. And it was such a like beautiful experience to just have that intimate moment with my fiance and to write all of these things that were so meaningful to us and just really kind of, you know, what we feel this house signifies for us and our relationship and our future family. So I definitely recommend doing that if you are building a new home or looking to build a new home and you're able to kind of be in the same state maybe or you're able to kind of check on the home frequently, go and write things on your framing. like. Write positive things. You wanna bring all that positive energy and things that you believe in into the home because it's gonna be your home. Like, it's gonna be your home. So you definitely want positive vibes and energy, okay? I'll show you guys a little sneak peek of the framing stage and then some of the quotes and things and scriptures that we wrote in our home. I'm Amber today. I got the camera. It's my show. You ready? You ready, excited, babe? Sure, I'm excited. Insulation in. Oh, oh, they got the stuff for, I think this is like the, oh, this is the stuff for the sheetrock thing. So that's next week, I think. Baby, look. Mm. 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 Oh, this one not your last time? No, this was out here. They did that. The paneling for that, and then they have the connections for our ceiling fan. Hey, 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 hey. So, I wanted to show you guys last time 
or we came in what like two weeks ago and wrote on our framing we wrote our future baby room so we got other little quotes and stuff what was the one that you put on the door baby? Yes, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So after the framing was even a more exciting part of the process and that was putting up the sheetrock. So it was so cool to see the sheetrock stage because you actually could see walls and really visualize the space and the layout. Like the framing, you could see the layout obviously, but the sheetrock just made everything so real. And so being able to kind of see that go up and and see like, oh, like there's an actual, like this is like how the island will be or this is where an actual wall is. Like it was crazy. You got the doors on. The cabinets. Oh my gosh. Babe. Ah, it's becoming a little home. Baby! Oh my gosh! What? Oh, that was so good. I'm so glad we got it, baby. So things are moving along. Of course, the home building process is still going. But the next update I'll be giving about the home will be actually moving into the home. So of course, you guys know I am gonna be coming to you live with an empty house tour. And then I'm also gonna probably vlog the closing, home closing process. Let me know if you want me to vlog the closing process. I think I'm gonna do that just so I can give you guys like the inside scoop of, you know, how the closing or just like, you know what the day is like and how the closing went and things of that nature so i am super excited okay guys like i am super excited to just really i don't know just be on this journey i'm so thankful so blessed to have this opportunity at such a young age and yeah so we never take it for granted so super excited and so glad that you guys have been on the journey with me a little bit to kind of see some of the behind the scenes so we also have been kind of like browsing for furniture as well too, just to kind of see what exactly we want in the house and what kind of vibe and style. And I'm still trying to kind of figure that out. But we did really want to see what type of couch we wanted to get for the house because obviously staples like a couch and a bed and things of that nature, like you need like almost instantly sometimes just so you can have somewhere to kind of like lounge or you know go to sleep at night i'm gonna be showing you guys some of the furniture shopping that we did a couple weeks ago so you guys can see some of the selections that we are thinking about all right guys so we are at american signature furniture shopping for a little couch <laughs> here's dante uh so little backstory we've already been here and we actually found a couch that we really really like but I did some reviews on it and it's a little questionable like the fabric was like apparently a lot of people had trouble with the couch palling and the fabric not being super durable which is really problematic because this couch is super super expensive so that that's a little problematic that you know the couch was piling and it just wasn't really kind of standing the test of time especially with in the span of like a couple months like I don't want the couch to look super old only in a couple months so um we're back here to see if we can get that same design in like a different type of material because it was a linen material and if we can't we're gonna see if we like anything else in here but i've been a little like low-key stressed trying to find furniture for this house <laughs> especially a couch like it's a little stressful do you feel stressed it's grace anyway we're gonna go in here i'm gonna vlog a little bit show you guys what we're considering and then we'll reconvene back in the car let's go <laughs> I 
kind of don't like this one as much though. Cause the, I guess the pillows. Oh, yeah. and you kind of sink down a lot more in this one. Yeah, <laughs> you're not you're not feeling it. <laughs> it's too yeah. <laughs> okay, that's a no go. What about what's that one over there? Yeah, that's our again new collection made by the same manufacturer. Okay. You can have, let me show you. Okay, yeah. Exactly, yes, ma'am. You can can get an L shape. Okay. That's how it comes. I'm not sure if I love this fabric. <laughs> it's very like grandma's house. It feels like my <laughs> Yeah. It's too short. Yeah. Yeah. It's just nothing compares to the Colin. The other one too? The Jasper? Yeah, the Jasper is nice. I still like this style better. Because if you look at this couch with the arms, like I don't like how skinny the arms are. Like, look at that. Really skinny on the life of it. I still like this couch. I kind of like the firmness of it too. You don't want nothing too soft. Mm -hmm. I'm just scared because so can... the, the jack is bigger. It definitely is. It just look bigger because of the... the chase. But we wouldn't get the chase. It would be L shaped. Mm -hmm. So it would be cutting off the chase. So it would be probably the so same size. It's cutting off pretty much the same thing. able to vlog and tell you guys and debrief to you guys like how we felt about the couch because it was dark when we came outside but essentially we landed on the Colin sectional which I really really love this look I love the look of having like an L-shaped sectional and then having two chairs in the living room I'm actually gonna put my inspo picture right here just to show you guys and I just think that's such a vibe and it's something that I think will be great for the room that we're actually furnishing because you know it's so open and it flows very nicely that I think you know having that division within the living room and kind of you know dividing that out would be really really nice but also very like functional and still kind of open which I like so I'm so excited guys like I have so many ideas um, for the house and so many projects that we're gonna be doing and I know it will take time but again, I will be taking you guys on every journey. Like you might get tired of all the house videos that I'm about to make, okay? Like if this is your jam, make sure you're subscribed, okay? Because it's gonna be everything. I'm gonna be sharing everything, um, budgets, all that good stuff. So you guys can really get like a real glimpse on, you know, how, how to go about picking things or, you know, just kind of how to budget because buying a home is expensive, okay guys? Like it's expensive. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.